Hello, my friends. Good to see you all again. I hope everybody's doing great. We're down here in Houston about to get hit with a cold flash, to say the least, I think. But anyway, I hope all of you all have been doing well and staying safe. Uh, this I'm going to take you for a little trip back in time right now. I started this project about four months ago and been working on and on and off as I could. I've been very busy with work lately. As I told you all, I remodel office buildings for a living is what I do. And I've been very busy, so I haven't had too much shop time, uh, which to me is a bummer because that's my favorite place to be. But I'm going to do this video in a couple of, of uh, phases, a part one, a part two thing. Uh, it took a long time to build, so it's a long video. And uh, anyway, I could ramble on here all day, and I tend to do that a lot. But let's get started and take a trip back about four months ago. Let's get at it now. Okay? Don't leave. We're going to start. <laughs> hey, guys. How y'all doing? We have some walnut strips here. There are, what, six, seven, eight of them. They are an inch and a half wide, just over a quarter inch thick, 32 inches long. They were left over from another job, so I was wondering what I could do with them besides make a fan. So, let's see what we can do. I'll fan you while I'm waiting, okay? <laughs> Okay, y'all, at exactly four inches, I'm going to put a mark. Now, what I'm going to do here is on that four inch mark, I'm going to put tape. Why am I putting tape? To keep the glue right where I want it. Okay. That's it. One piece of tape at four inches. I'm going to do that to each and every one of them, and I'll be right back to you guys. All right, guys. We're going to glue these up. Going to only glue from the tape over. And I made a big uh, job site decision. Instead of four inches, I went with six inches. Why? I don't know. Felt like it. Okay, y'all, I took the clamps off of the first glue up, and now I've got five more pieces cut and ready. I already put the tape on them. Didn't figure y'all would want to watch me do that. It's five for each side, and we're going to go ahead and get those glued up right now. And off sentence here a little bit, I've got two castings ready to pour, and I don't know if y'all can see that, but on the burr, I burned the tips with the torch to give it a dark effect on the very tips and I've got two of these sitting here that I'll be casting up soon and you know what I'm probably gonna give them away alright let's get gluing
Okay, guys, and like I was saying, plenty of squeeze out. <coughs> Excuse me. I know you've seen those folks that put a lot of glue both sides, and I do too in certain cases, but not that there's nothing wrong with that, not that there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. It's just not necessary right now. A lot of people, including myself, will also tell you, don't wipe the glue off while it's wet. You can get the glue into the pores of the wood grain of your project, which is completely true. But I'm going to be sanding and carving on this and taking most of this surface off, so I'm not very worried about it. Alright guys, here you go. I glued the last pieces on each end and then what I did was I just spread them apart and stuck a two and a quarter inch block between each one. I've also got some uh, oh popsicles for lack of a better word spacing out the back and then I pretty well wet it pretty good. Gonna leave it sitting up in this clamp position for a, a day come back tomorrow wet it again and then I'll take the blocks out. Will it stay exactly there? No. But it'll go right back there. Alright, here you go guys. Day 5 and I took it out of the clamps. You all saw a day before yesterday. I sprayed some water on it. I let it dry then I sprayed some water on it again. Let it sit one more day. So I'm on day 5. It's under no clamp pressure right now and as you can see by spraying the hot water on it it works like putting it in a steam press or a steam bender which I got one of those but it's stuck up on the mezzanine and you can't glue the wood up when it comes out of a steam bender because it's wet sorry guys I got started didn't realize I didn't have the camera turned back on. Here you go guys, it's all jigged up wet. Now we're going to let it sit for two days again, come back this evening and spray it, come back 
tomorrow and spray it again. Okay guys, it's been three more days. I think I'm on day nine now. I've wet it and dried it out and wet it and dried it out and wet it and dried it out and wet it and dried it out. So, let's move our blocks. What's left of them. A few fell out when I was picking it up. Here we go guys, after getting all our calculations done and our angles divided up and spaced out in uniform, got our pattern laid up and all that just translates into three hours of doing and redoing and configuring and compromising and deciding never compromise and getting ready, ready to start fastening it all down. So let's get at it. Alright guys, I forget the count of the days, but I got it all laid out, measured out, equaled out, jigged up, nailed down to the pouring form, and now I've got to start doing a lot of hot glue gunning to hold all my little shims in place and seal up the edges, so let's get at it. In case y'all can't tell guys, it's a, about 50 inches wide and about 3 foot tall I think at the moment. Hey y'all, I got the blue all dried up. Give you a quick look around. And I started the blue shading with the darker blue and thought I had the camera on, but I goofed and didn't. So I'm about to start the second color and I'll make sure I've got the camera on. Hey guys, okay, now we get to have every woodworker's dream and woodcarver's dream. We get to work with some peacock feathers. Now you see me, now you don't. Now Okay guys, got that first batch of feathers laid in there. 
Believe it or not, I tested one of these feathers with the resin on it before I put them in here, and it looked great. And after coming back in the morning, the resin has turned my peacock feathers this ugly brown, which used to be green and gold. About the only thing that stayed showing on it was the green. So I'm shafted. So what do I do? What do I do? Well, there's all winds of will, there's a way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the real peacock feathers in there. But I'm going to take some of these. Well, it goes, I'll put it the other way. I actually cut these two already. I'm going to put some of these in there, which will hold their color. There are some nice ones I found at Hobby Lobby. Alright, been trimming a bunch of feathers. Here's the trimmings. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I got a few more to go. But I want to give you a quick look at it. Before I finish up the rest of the feathers here. Still got a few more to put in the center. That's the last run right around here and right around here and then we're going to be ready to pour some resin. Hey guys, here you go. Alright, it's exactly roughly two weeks later since I put the last coloring in and then I poured the clear. I wasn't going to let you all see me pouring the clear because then you'd see the finished product. But here's the back side of her. Like I say, this thing is about four feet wide, a little over three feet tall. It's uh, roughly an inch and three quarters thick. I haven't put it on a scale yet, but I'm guessing around 45 to 50 pounds. Alright guys, here it is an hour and a half later. And I hope you all can see that. Those pencil marks. I measured out and scaled out the arch for each of the butterfly, butterfly, I told you this guy can't talk. Peacock feathers. All right, guys. Got her all rounded up. Okay, three days of sanding and sculpting. 
carving, sanding, carving, lunch break, dinner break, carving, sanding, sanding, carving. Okay, y'all, I'm dry sanding the bottom edge from uh, 240, wasn't well, the bottom edge, the bottom, the edge, from 240 up to 1200 dry sanding. <laughs> Okay guys, I could do this with the machine, but on these edges, I'm going to do it by hand, and along the edges. So I'm going to do that wet sanding, and I'm going to do it by hand. So I'll let y'all see a little bit. I won't make you watch the whole 12 hours, okay? I promise. Hey guys, alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of that micro mesh sanding there. And uh, probably take me, I'm kidding, maybe another two hours. And then I'll be ready to buff it. And I'll come back when I'm ready to start buffing it. And when the bottom edge is all polished up and stuff, I'm going to flip it over. Sand the top for the last time and polish it. But I'm not going to show you all that because I don't want you to see the finished table until it's together. Okay? So let me finish this wet sand and then we'll get to our buffing. Okay, y'all, that is... Uh dry sanded with the sander from uh, where'd I go, Two, uh, 220 all the way up to 1200 and then hand wet sanded from 1500 all the way up to 12,000 and that's the finish you see at the moment that I got with that <laughs> Okay guys, it's time for some buffing, and when I'm buffing and not on the, uh, the lathe, this is what I use. It's 3M's 3-step. Three they don't call it 3-step, but it's 3 steps. 1, polishing, 2, polishing, and 3, polishing. And each one has a lot of technical different information. The white pad, the black pad, the blue pad, and so on. I'm out of those at the moment, so I'm going to be using a different pad, but it'll be three passes with this. There you go guys, there's part one. Uh, that little tabletop weighs just a little over 50 pounds. I weighed it up. Uh, resin can be quite heavy. And it's been a lot of fun making. Um, I did a lot of research on butterflies. Excuse me. Peacocks. I didn't go chasing them out in the field or nothing. But to get a spread, and the average spread on a peacock, on every feather they have about... Uh, three to four burst and they have roughly between 27 to 36 rows of feathers and uh, That one has 27 on it So I've got to build the base for it 
and I've got to build the top for it. There is a decorative art piece carving that goes on top. And I'm going to be doing that and putting that out in phase two here right shortly within a few days. I've about got it all wrapped up now. So I hope you all enjoyed that part and I'll be getting the next one wrapped up right away. Good to see you. Stay safe. And you know I'll be right back, I promise. Thanks, guys. See you in a few.